push it in to lock it. You can un open a door and it automatically unlocks. The lock. does, I've never heard it. See, starting information, this cranking system is thermostatically protected against overcranking, excessive cranking time, 45 seconds approximate. It can cause temporary interruption of the cranking circuit uh, from five to seven minutes until the thermostat automatically resets. And this truck has a auto shutdown, which I hope to show y'all. I think it's gotta sit here and idle for about 10 minutes and it'll turn itself off if you don't touch the accelerator, but we'll see. This over here is the lift gate power switch. That turns it off, that turns it on. Got your lights, it's your work light inside the box on the body. This dims and brightens the panel lights, the headlight switch. Middle is for parking light, that's for headlights. Apparently there's cruise control on here. I don't know what these buttons are supposed to say, but they kind of worn off. 166,000 miles on this truck. This is a 2005 International 4300. I guess it's the one right before they started calling them the Durastar, but it's the same thing. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. But uh, the radio is made by International. And another thing here is, uh, like most commercial trucks, there is no park. So you gotta put it in neutral and set the parking brake. Here in the back of the cab, they got the insurance and registration cards. Yeah, right here between the seats. So we got our Florida registration. Apparently the uh, grand total for every year registering this truck in particular costs $286.65. That's every year. Not cheap running one of these things. Actually, according to this thing, it says it's a 2006, but uh, all the plates on the body say this is a 2005. So this might not even be the right registration for this truck. And then we got our uh, insurance. Looks like we are insured by Old Republic Insurance Company. And this is good until uh, January of 2012. So I guess when the world ends, this truck will no longer be insured. Huh. Yeah, here's what I was talking about with the manufacturing date. It says it was uh, manufactured on August 26th of 2005. And then the bodybuilder built it. You can't, I don't know if you can see that at all. It's kind of hard to see it, but uh, the data manufacturing by the body manufacturer, uh, the company Morgan that put this box on here, says uh, 905, so that's what, September 2005 is when they got the body on here. This truck has dual fuel tanks. It's uh, 13 foot, one inches tall. This is one of the fuel tanks. The other one's over on the passenger side. They both hold 50 gallons. And I drove this thing across the state and back. You know, it's only a few hundred miles or a couple hundred miles, something like that. I think 250, something like that. I only burned a little more than a quarter tank, so that's not too bad.
sound right there, that little sound at the top there. I don't know if you can see that, it says engine. What this truck's about to do is turn itself off. Fuel saving feature. Now, I'm not touching anything. There you go, truck turned itself off. A lot of the newer trucks have this. Uh, when I was working at Waste Management, a bunch of our trucks would do it. It took it about 15 minutes to do this auto shutdown. Uh, the ones when I was at Waste Management took anywhere from five to 10 minutes. So It's a handy little feature if you're a fleet manager. Keeps your fuel consumption down. It's kind of a pain in the butt with this truck because Penske told me that uh, in order to run the lift gate, you're supposed to have a truck running. But when the truck shuts itself off after 15 minutes, I'm not going to keep coming out here and turning it on and screwing with it. <laughs> but I just thought you guys might think that was kind of interesting. Oh, here's one more thing that I forgot to show you guys when I was doing the end cab. Uh, this is something uh, I guess a lot of you uh, actual guys out there working on the truck are going to appreciate seeing. Uh, this is the first time I've ever actually seen lumbar support in a seat. Definitely don't get that in the garbage industry. But yeah, this is your air ride seat. You know, up and down. Same as uh, pretty much any kind of garbage truck out there. But yeah, that's pretty nice. Lumbar. Who would have thought? A rental truck. They got more comfort than uh, waste management does. Or Republic. <laughs> Unless they got some new trucks out there that I'm not aware of.